Hello students, hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to start with our chapter number 7 of civics that is judiciary. Here we will be coming to know about judicial system and about courts and their composition, tenure and removal and under what characteristics they are placed and their importance as well. So pay attention closely. In the first two chapters we have already studied about the organs of our country and the government that is legislative and executive and we know their functions so it's time to read and know more about the third function that is the judiciary and let's know and focus on that how it works and what is its importance in india as a third organ of the government the judiciary performs three main functions that is it performs and it has three main functions and uh, the, they are as follows protects the rights and liberties of the citizen secures justice to the people and settles dispute means it protects rights to the of the people and tell them that what their rights are secures justice means helps them to get the justice and settle disputes means conflicts between people and a community if they have so in order to perform these functions efficiently means properly the judiciary functions through a network of courts are spread across the country means there are number of courts which are spread across the country so that people can easily reach to them these courts are broadly organized into a three-tiered pyramid means three tier system is there which is being followed by these courts the supreme court of india is the apex of the pyramid means the top of the pyramid followed by the high court and the subordinate court and under which high court comes and under that subordinate court come we will know about all these three while the supreme court is the highest court in the country means it has the highest power then comes the high court function as the highest court in a state means the highest court in a country is supreme court whereas the highest court in a state is high court and each of these courts function independently of the influence of the legislature and executive and they have their separate functions and independency and under them comes uh, subordinate courts which we have in our districts today so students let's know about supreme court the Supreme Court, as we already know, is the highest power court of a country and it is located in New Delhi. It is only one in number and it hears three types of cases. First is civil case such as property related and family issues, criminal cases such as murder and theft and illegal cases and the cases that involve a question of the interpretation of the constitution of India means the lawmaking process. And the decisions of the uh, Supreme Court are binding on all courts in India means if Supreme Court has declared a result then no other court can file or constitute against and go against its decision. Then let's focus on composition, tenure and removal. The Supreme Court consists of a Chief Justice along with 30 other judges means there is a combination of and composition of 30 judges along with the head judges Chief Justice. The judges of the Supreme Court remain in office till the age of 65 years means they can practice and they can be in a job profession till 65 years till they are of 65 years of age. The judges of the Supreme Court can be removed before the completion of their term only on the grounds of proven behavior or incapacity means they can be removed but only and only if once they are found doing or practicing the illegal practices or they are found misbehaving or helping wrong cases taking places the process of the removal of a judge of the supreme court is known as impeachment means when a judge is removed from a supreme court then that process is known as impeachment mark this word because this is very important the process of impeachment involves the passing of a motion containing the charges against the judge by both the houses of the indian parliament means both the houses of the indian parliament pass a kind of motion means a kind of document in which it is stated that yes this judge has done this thing wrong and this is why he should be removed from the authority it is also to be passed by a two-thirds majority of the members present and the voting in each house of the indian parliament and the voting is also done in indian parliament also then comes our next heading that is powers of the supreme court let's know that what functions and powers it can apply as the highest court in the country, the Supreme Court exercises the following powers, means it has its the following powers under its control. First one is original jurisdiction. 
under this power the supreme court is empowered to hear direct cases related to the conflicts between the union and states and between two or more states means if two states are having a same or conflict in between then the case will be under registered under supreme court and supreme court will be looking after the cases second is appellate jurisdiction under this power the supreme court hears appeals made against the verdict of a lower court suppose if i have filed a case in uh, high court and i didn't win that then i can file a case against again person again or some property again in supreme court also and this is what appellate jurisdiction states now come on advisory jurisdiction under the advisory jurisdiction the president of india may refer a case or question of law of public importance to the supreme court for its opinion on the same means a person means a president can also raise a kind of question to the supreme court that why have you issued such law and if he sees that like if the court is not working properly then he can issue a notice also supervisory jurisdiction it refers to the power of the supreme court to supervise the functioning of the lower courts means supervisory jurisdiction allows lower courts that uh, and keeps in contact and consideration that whether the lower courts are working properly and uh, proficiently or not court of record as a court of record the supreme court records all its proceedings and verdicts to be served as a reference in the future means they keep all the data of all the courts and cases so that they if in care it is needed in future then they can access it now coming on high courts students high court are the highest level of courts in a state as i have already told you earlier a high court consists of a chief justice and a number of other judges that vary from state to state means a high court has different number of judges and a chief justice also the judges of a high court hold the office till the age of 62 years means they can practice their profession up to and until they, when they are when they unless and until they don't reach the age of 62 years and the judges of a high court hold the office till the age of 62 years and the judge of a high court may also be removed from his or her office before the expiry of their term only on the grounds of proven misbehavior and incapacity the same as we stated the same in uh, supreme court also if someone is found doing illegal practice or found doing misbehavior with any of the verdicts then he or she and the judge may be uh, can be removed from the office and that process will be known as impeachment now let's know the functions of high court just as a supreme court the high court in india enjoys original appellate and supervisory jurisdictions means it also has the same but and it looks for the same under its considerations for the subordinate courts under the original jurisdiction the high courts hear cases related to the sub constitution of india protection of the fundamental rights and disputes in the states means the same issue that were mentioned in high uh, in supreme court the same cases are seen in high court as well under the appellate jurisdiction the high courts hear cases against the verdicts of the lower courts in the country means like they hear if someone is not capable of getting a kind of justice in subordinate court then they can file a case again in high court the same we used to do in uh, the people used to do in uh, supreme court under the supervisory jurisdiction it supervises the functioning of the lower courts means it look after whether the lower courts are working properly or not and if they it found that it finds that lower courts are not functioning functioning properly then it issues a letter to them or a notice to them that they should do it well apart from these the high courts also record their proceedings and verdicts to serve as the court of record means they also keep in contact all the verdicts and all the records of all the cases which have taken place is in past so that they can use the verdicts and cases in future if and so whenever they are in need let's let's know about subordinate courts which are also known as lower courts the courts below the high courts are known as subordinate courts subordinate courts include district courts revenue courts nyay panchayats and lok adalats i will let you know what lok adalats are let's focus on district courts at the district level there are two types of courts the court of the district judge for the civil cases and court of the sessions judge for criminal cases means two kind of and types of cases are considered over there first civil and second one criminal we already know about civil and criminal cases and what category falls under them the district courts function under the supervision of the high courts means they work under the provision and, and uh, supervision means under the guidance of high courts apart from original civil and criminal cases they also hear cases against the verdicts of the lower courts means they also hear cases from lower courts like gram panchayat and nyay panchayat let's know about revenue courts 
revenue courts refer to the courts that hear cases related to the payment of revenue means to the re uh, money money related issue the highest revenue court in a state in the board of revenue the highest revenue court in a district of the court of the collector means basically a collector is the one who you who listens to all the problems and gives a complying decision let's know about nyay panchayats in order to make justice affordable and convenient nyay panchayats function in rural areas means everybody cannot reach states and everybody cannot file everybody cannot travel long distances to uh, file a case in supreme court or high courts so for that what is actually made like what they do they do and make they do and make a nyay panchayat in at village level so that people can go over there and they can file a case against there and that's why nyay panchayats are made a nyay panchayat may cater to 3 to 4 villages in four villages maximum come under the category means a group however it can hear only petty civil and criminal cases rest if a case is very very big then they are forwarded to district courts that is subordinate courts and also they are all the allowed to have levy fines on the people and now send anyone to the prison means they cannot send anyone to the prison instead they can only fine them the verdicts of the nyay panchayats are eligible to be challenged in the district courts and anyone can uh, like challenge the verdicts of nyay panchayat in higher courts rather than nyay panchayats and uh, here comes now lok adalats the judiciary in india is overburdened with a lot of cases means not every case can be handled so which is, that's why we delay and we face a lot of delays and we a uh, lot of uncertainties in hearing and in getting all the decisions from the courts so for that a lot of people lack the resources required to make the court thus lok adalats have been set up in the country to make justice accessible and affordable for all the citizens means to overcome this problem of uh, late decision making like they have made a kind of precision that lok adalats will be setting up will be getting set, set up in all the parts of the country so that people can have easy access to all the decisions and settling disputes without a pleader and over by retired judges and function on an advocate means retired judges do this and there is no lawyer who works under all these categories so i guess here we are done with the chapter you can go to the key terms and round up because they will give you a kind of idea that how you can know about them thank you so much for paying attention students i hope you all have understood the concept and the plot of the chapter if you have not understood do let me know and if you really want to know more about it about the judiciary part of india then you can access internet and you can know more and you can also talk to your parents about jurisdiction because they must be knowing a little bit more than you and than us so just have your curiosity up and uh, keep your thumbs up and your flags high it's a kind of common phrase means keep moving and uh, take care stay safe and uh, keep learning and all the best